your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Last week, the states agreed with Attorney General Eric Holder on a settlement with the big banks for $25 billion, rather than taking the big banks to court for the douchebag-bursting amount of foreclosure fraud that has gone on. This amounts to roughly $2,000 per homeowner who was foreclosed on. Imagine you get illegally kicked out of your home, your life turned upside down by fucking gangsters wearing nice shoes and smiles. Then when the thugs get caught, they give you a shiny $2,000 to shut you up and go away. How happy would you be? Someone got a million dollars just for dumping McDonald's coffee in her lap and you get two grand for having your home stolen? That's like someone stealing your car and then offering to give you your hubcap back. But more importantly, why the fuck was she going to McDonald's for coffee in the first place? Going to McDonald's for coffee is like going to a crack whore for help on a crossword puzzle. You don't get what you came for and you probably end up with a disease. Or, in this great case, burning your crotch off. But this shitty deal with the banks isn't the point. For the past many months, the Federal Reserve has been giving interest-free money to those banks and the banks have not been loaning it out. They've just been hoarding it and making money from it. So the Fed pumps these banks full of money, our money, like Santorum pumping whatever woodland creature he's captured tonight. The banks then make money on our money and go on to pay a ridiculously low amount for the fraud they've perpetrated on millions of homeowners. Fun game, isn't it? I mean, not as fun as a game of Twister with a dozen poisonous snakes on a fire ant hill, but still, still fun. But that's not really the point either. The point is, we're now letting the media and the country stop talking about the continued unfettered assault on a sustainable model for this world. We need to be able to multitask, goddammit. If Rachel Ray can cook four things at once, then we can talk about four things at once. We have to be able to tell the GOP that they can take a warm cock to the eye before we'll let them continue their shock and awe campaign on women's rights. And at the same time, we need to keep battling for a government that's not owned by Wall Street and a Wall Street that doesn't piss all over everything and then charge us to clean it up. A lot of people want to believe that Occupy is over. A lot of people want to believe that Occupy is over. And we're so sorry to disappoint those people, but we're just lacing up our shoes, training in the off season. And now some of us have 2,000 shiny dollars from the banks to buy bigger and better torches and pitchforks. You should see the Pitchfork 4G. It's fucking badass. Well, that's your moment of clarity. Please keep Moment of Clarity going. Donate what you believe this episode was worth at LeeCamp.net. And for a limited time, if you become a $10 per month member, I'll send you a signed copy of the brand new Moment of Clarity book that's just recently out. Thanks a lot. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.